Hi all, welcome to Learn Code Repeat. So today we'll be looking at day 11 of the October Lead Code Challenge. The name of the problem is Remove Duplicate Letters. There are two problems in Lead Code. One is 316 and the other is 1081. Both are of similar type. So let's look into the problem. So the problem states given a string S, remove duplicate letters so that every letter appears only once. You must make sure your result is the smallest in lexicographical order among all possible results. So this sentence, you must make sure your result is the smallest in lexicographical order among all possible results. It's kind of a confusing statement, but we'll look into this uh, with an example. So here, for example, one, it states that uh, input is BCABC. -C. Now among this, the unique characters, right, are A, B, and C, right? And, uh, in lexicographical order, that means the sorted order of uh, ascending characters, right? It will be A, B, and C. So that's the output here, A, B, C. And uh, the other input is this. We'll look into this example. But before that, the constraints that have been provided is S dot length is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 10 raised to 4. And S consists of lowercase English letters. So let's look into example 2. So here in this example, right, we have C, B, A, C, D, C, right? So the unique letters are A, B, C, and D. These are the unique characters, right? Now here, when they say lexicographical order, right, uh, they mean that uh, the output should be such that the character order in the string should not change. So here, the character is A is appearing here, right? Uh, it should not change. At the same time, we should select unique characters in our output such that uh, the smallest in lexicographical order should be selected first, right? What I mean by that is, now here in the string, right? If I don't change the order, but still I want to select all the unique characters, right? What are the different outputs that I can get? So here, one is C, B, A, and then there is D. So here, if I select this, right? That means C, B, A, and then here D, because C was already selected, so I won't select again. Again, CBC, it was already selected here, so I won't select again. So when I select D, and this is the same sequence of order in the string as well, right? C appears first, then B, then A, and then D appears, right? So this is one sequence, and we are including all the four letters that is there in the string S, right? All the four unique letters we are including here. The second sequence that we can have is, I can select B here and then A, then C, and then D, right? This is second sequence. And the third sequence is, if I ignore C and B, then I can select A, then C, D, and B, right? The fourth one I can do is, I can select A, D, C, B, and the fifth one can be A, D, B, C, right? So I selected A, D, B, C. So in all this, if you see, I've made sure that there are only unique letters and all the unique letters are included in this, right? Now among this results, right? Which one is the lexicographical order, the most lexicographical order? That means the smallest character should appear first and then the next largest and then the next largest. So, which gives us the best lexicographical order, right? So, here obviously, since A appears first, C and B, we cannot take this into account because A is the best lexicographical order that we can have. Now, among these three, right? If you see after A, we have C here and here after A, we have D, right? Now, C comes before D. So, I cannot use this. Now, between this three and five, right? A, C, D, B and here A, D, B, C. So, obviously, C comes before D. So, we cannot use this as well. So this will be the final output that I need to select. And that's what here they are expecting, A, C, D, B, okay? So now let's look into the logic, how we can build this, right? So what we can do is uh, we can go through this string and since we want to get the unique characters, right? At the same time, we want to keep the lexicographical order, right? So when we go through the string, right? Uh, if we want to skip a particular string, right? I can only skip it if I know there are multiple different occurrences later on in the string. So for example, if I'm going from left to right here, right? And let's say I want to skip C. I don't want to consider C here now. Then I can only skip C if I know that C is available 
later on in the string otherwise i cannot right so first step will be to know that right we need to know the how many numbers of that letter is present in the string right so first step will be i will build a frequency map okay first is frequency map i will build so once i build this frequency map so i will go through c so i know that for c there is 1 2 3 4 there are four c's for b there is 1 2 there are two b's and for a there is one a and uh, then we have d there is one d okay so once i have the frequency map then i can go through the string and uh, build the final output string right and during that process i can check whether the previous one that i added is greater than the new character what i mean by that is let's check this right if i am going through the string from left to right right so let's assume that i include c in my final result right then i go to b i'll check whether my current character is less than my last character in the result so my previous character or the last character in the result was c now c is greater than b that means my current character is less than my character in the result right now i can start my result with this current character which is b only if i ignore c okay and i can ignore c only if i know that c appears later on in the string right so for that i'll check my frequency map okay i'll check if i can decrement the count and still it will be greater than 0 so i'll decrement the count by 1 and still it is greater than 0 so from the result i'll remove the last entry and add my current character which is now b current character is b okay now i'll move to the next character which is a okay now here if i see i can only include a if my previous result is less than my current character okay now here a is not less than b so i need to remove b now i can remove b if i know my frequency map if i decrement the value it is still greater than 0 so if i decrement it will become 1 it is still greater than 0 so i can remove this b and i can keep my result as a okay so the steps that i am doing here is add the letter in result and check if last character is so my last character should be less than current care in my let's say string is s so in my string s so last character of result should be so last character in result is less than current character if not remove the last character of the result if the last character appears later on in the string that will come to know using the frequency map here right okay so let's say we added now a and then again we get a c my next current counter is at c i'll check whether i need to add c right i'll i'll check whether c is less than my last character it's it is not so i can directly add c without removing the last character now before adding c right i also need to make sure that whether that character is already present in the result right because i need to form a unique result right so for checking that i can have a like similar to frequency map i can have a unique set or a unique array since it's given that it's only 26 characters so i can use a boolean array to check if current character is added already so if current character is already added then i can directly skip it else i can add the current character so since c was not added i will add the c now then i'll go to the next character which is d again d is greater than c so i don't need to remove anything i can directly add d and also d is not already added in the boolean array so i'll add d so here as and when i am adding to the result right this is my result string so as and when i am adding a character to the result string i will also add the same character to my boolean array okay and similarly when i am removing any characters i will also mark that character in my boolean array as false okay that i have already removed i am not using it so here now we have added a c d now again c comes in my current character is c i will check in my boolean array that c is already present so i will skip that c now my current character is b okay i will check in my boolean array that b is not present then i will check whether my b is uh, greater than d which is the last letter of the result it is not greater than d then i need to remove the last character provided there is more occurrence of the last character in the string later on in the string and that we can check if we decrement the value and the value is greater than zero so here the last character is d 
if I decrement the value of d here it is not greater than 0. So, we cannot remove this value ok. So, since this value cannot be removed we will keep this value as is and we will add the current character here as is ok. So, we will add a c d b and then I will move to the next character. Now, next character is c, c was already there in the result so I will ignore this. So, that way my final result is a c d b which is same as this ok. So, for doing this operation right we were removing the last character and then we were adding right. So, the data structure that supports this in a O of 1 time right uh, is uh, either you can use a linked list or you can use a stack right. So, if for example, if you are using linked list you just need to remove the last character from the list that is O of 1 operation right. So, if you see we are going through all the characters of the string array. So, that is O of n time and the additional space that we are taking is for the boolean array and for the frequency map right. So, in worst case that also will be O of n. So, we are taking O of n time and O of n space here. So, that will be the complexity. So, let us code this logic that we have here and while going through the code I will again explain uh, these steps that we performed here. So, that way you will be able to relate this logic with the code logic easily let us look into the code. So, the first step uh, we had was building the frequency map. So, for that I will define a int array since we know there are only 26 characters lower case characters. So, I can define an int frequency array of uh, 26 characters. So, I will go through each and every character in s and build the frequency map. So, what I am doing here is I am incrementing the value of the frequency array for that particular character position minus a. So, if the character is for example, c, so it will be c minus ASCII code of a. So, here ASCII code of small c is 99 and ASCII code of small a is 97. So, it will be 99 minus 97 that will give us 2. So, at index 2 it will increment the value ok. So, c will be index 2 because it is the third character and since we are using 0 index, so it will be index 2 ok. So, that way we are building the frequency map here. So, once we build the frequency map, we will go over again in a for loop through this letters and we will need a boolean array to check whether the characters were already added. We will need a linked list to form the final result. So, first we will decrement the frequency of this character. So, as and when we are going through each character, we will also decrement the frequency. So, whether we are using it or not, we are already passing through that character. So, that frequency of that particular character needs to be decremented from the frequency map right. Frequency of ch minus minus. So, I am decrementing the frequency. Now, I will check whether the character was already added. So, by default since it is a boolean array by default the values will be false and I will make it true only when I am adding that character to the result right. So, here if it is already added then I can continue with the next character. Now, I need to check whether this current character is less than the last character in my result list right. So, I will check if my result dot get last so the last character of the result if that is greater than my current character and if I have more of the current character later on in the string right. So, that we can only check from frequency map. So, the current frequency is greater than 0 for that particular character. So, that means the current character appears later on in the string as well in that case we can remove the last character from my result right. So, in this case I can directly do result dot remove last ok. Now, since I am removing this last, I also need to make sure that this added is turned back to false right. So, I will also do is added. So, result dot remove last will not only remove the element, but it also returns the element that is removed. So, I can use this as is and say that this is false. So, this will also remove it and also make it false in the is added array ok. Now, here uh, this can only happen if the result is not empty right. So, we have to add that check as well that result is empty should be false ok. Now, here if I remove the last element right what if the second last element. So, after removing the last element the new last element is also greater than c in that case also we have to do the same step again right. So, here instead of if it should be while that means we have to do the same step again and again until my last element in the result is less than the current ch and also provided the frequency of the ch is still greater than 0 only then I can afford to remove that character ok. Actually I am removing this last character right. So, I need to check 
the frequency of the last character not the frequency of current character ch is the current character so here it should be frequency of get last so i can only remove that last character if the frequency of that particular character is greater than 0 that means that character is appearing later on in the string so i can remove it now okay so once i do this after that i can add the current character in my result and since i am adding the current character i need to update the is added for the current character so once i do this in the for loop the remaining result will have the unique character set so at the end i can directly form the string from the remaining result here what i can do is a string builder and then go over the linked list so while result dot no is empty strp dot append i'll do a result dot remove first so i'm removing the first element from the result and adding it into the string builder so i'm doing this until my result is not empty and at the end i can return the string so let's run this code and the test passes let's submit this and the code is accepted and as I said uh, the time complexity of this will be O of n and the space complexity since we are using O of n space so the space complexity is also O of n. I hope you like this video please do hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel for future such videos. Thank you.